Okay, so James, what we're gonna be doing here today is we're gonna be doing a fit test on this Marsha here, Sunstrom SO100. Uh, you've worn these before, haven't you? Yes. Excellent, so let's start off and get everything ready. I'm gonna start off with the, the uh, respirator itself. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna get the, uh, the valve or the probe installed. Uh, please note when we finish the test, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna put that valve back on again. So please don't go walking out of here without the valve back on. I'm gonna feed this through here. Excellent, nice and simple there. I'll give you that there. Now before you go ahead and throw that on, if you can please give that a bit of a wipe down, that'd be great. And just on the inside, anywhere you're gonna be wearing the rest powder, we've sanitized that post before, before the test, um, but just because I've touched the mask, I have hand sanitized, but just give it nice and clean, so. Excellent, that can wipe and go on the bin. Now if you wanna go ahead and throw that mask on, that'd be great. While you're doing that, I'll get you set up in the system. So your first name is James, last name I'm just gonna put N. Uh, for ID, I usually go mobile phone number. Today, because we're just doing this for a video, I'm just gonna put you as 001. Company is gonna be PST, and location, suburb where we're doing the testing is Woolongaba. Cool. Good, so James, we're testing on a Sunstrom SR100 in a medium large, um, that's basically it, nice and simple. I'm gonna get you connected to the uh, sample, or the twin tubes. This plugged in here. Excellent, I'm happy with that, that's great. We've been running a couple of tests this morning, so we'll get the alcohol in. Nice and gentle. Good. Now James, I'm gonna go through a basic protocol with yourself. Um, it'll take probably us, probably take five to 10 minutes. We'll work our way through nice and slowly just to make sure we actually follow the protocol. So first off, your worker initials and date. So JN, today's date is the 22nd of the 12th, 2020. Operate initials, that's myself. Now James, first question, do you feel medically fit to test? No anxiety from wearing the mask, difficulty breathing, stress from wearing the mask, you're okay to wear the mask? Yeah. Excellent. You don't have any back or neck injuries that'll preclude you from doing the fit test? You don't have any injuries bending over or putting your head side to side or head up and down, you're okay? Yeah. Excellent. You're not anxious with the mask on, you feel, feel comfortable with the mask on? Yeah. Excellent, I'm happy with that. So medically fit to test, that's great. Selection sizing, are you happy with the medium large? Yeah. Excellent. Have you tried a small, medium or a large, extra large before? Yes, I have in the past. And how do you find those masks? Too big, too small? Too big, too small, so it's not too Excellent, yep. We've also measured your face uh, from your eye to the bottom of your chin. That's between 112 and 125 mil, which is what Sunstrom recommends you, you wear, so a medium large. Um, so if you find that comfortable, we're happy with the sizing, that's great. Uh, and obviously that's been done prior to the, to the fit test, so I'm happy with the selection and sizing. Uh, James, what we're doing here today is we're doing a fit test. We're checking two things. We're checking it seals in your face, and we're checking you can put the mask on. Uh, and we're trying to basically find the respirator with the best fit on your face, okay? Um, please note, although it may fit really well on the face, if it's not used in accordance with the standard 1715 and in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications, it's not gonna be suitable for that environment. Yeah. So as an example, at the moment with that respirator and that filter, you can only use that for particles where you need a protection factor of at least 10, or up to 10 basically. Um, you're not gonna be able to use it for uh, gamma, gases, chemicals, low oxygen, underwater, all that sort of, sort of stuff. You can only use it for, for particulates in certain environments. Does that make sense? Yeah. Excellent, I'm happy with that. That's all pretty good. Um, you're deemed clean shaven, you have no stubble around here, you have no facial hair, you have no moustaches that touch the ceiling surface, so you're definitely deemed clean shaven for the test. Uh, James, have you smoked in the last half an hour, mate? Uh, Absolutely, you're not a smoker, that's really good. Trained in donning, um, we've given you guidance before on how to put the mask on. You've received training on how to don the mask, how to take care of it, how to select it, use it, maintain it. So I'm happy with the training in donning. Um, prior to the fit test, we also gave you some basic pointers in putting the mask on. You've gone ahead and you've put the mask on uh, quite well, actually. I'm just gonna have a bit of a review here. I'm happy with that. Just put your chin up for a second there. I'm pretty happy with that, mate. You've got the, the straps in the right spots. That's, that's great. Now, I'm gonna go through a couple of points together. Um, are you happy with the position on the nose? It's not too high, it's not too low. No, it feels fine. It's comfortable yeah. in the nose? Yeah, yeah. That's excellent, good job, mate. Um, have you got room for eye protection? Now, what I get you to do, they're the glasses that you're usually wearing in the workplace. If you wanna go ahead and throw that the set of glasses on, and make it so it's compatible with the mask as well. So you, you see training and how to do that? Exactly what I wanna see, yep. So you've got the glasses, the glasses are working really well, nothing's gonna come up through the glasses, and the glasses aren't affecting the seal of the respirator too much. So they're both working in uh, congruence with each other, which is really good to see. So, 
So I'm happy with the position on the nose. I'm happy with the room for eye protection. Have you got room to talk as well, mate? Yeah, no, that's fine. Excellent. It's not blocking your mouth. It's not... No. Excellent to hear. Um, position on the face and cheeks. Is it comfortable on the face and cheeks around yeah. here? No, yep. It doesn't feel like it's pinching anything. It doesn't feel like it's moving around too much. No. And ultimately, it is comfortable? Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Excellent. Good job. Um, your chin is properly placed, so it's not... Did you put your chin up for a second there? So it's below your chin, which is great. It's not sitting on your chin. It's not sliding up, which is what I want to see. Um, strap tension is okay. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. No. Excellent. And the thing I noticed there is you've got the strap above the ears, which is excellent. And you don't have it too tight and everything is nice and symmetrical. So I'm happy with that. That's really, really good. Yep. Spot on. Spot on, James. Good job. And that just validates the fact that you can don the mask correctly. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, so strap tension is fine. Fitting across the nose. Once again, it fits across the nose. Okay. It's not uncomfortable in any way. No, it's fine. Excellent. Uh, you feel that it's the proper size. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, it's not slipping in any way, shape or form. No. No worries. Uh, I'll get you to have a quick look in the mirror and just make sure you're happy with where that's sitting on your face. And just get a bit of a feel for where that's sitting in your face as well. Yeah, that's okay, fine. Excellent, good job, doing really well. Now the process, exercise and responsibility. So you, to, this morning you're doing the OSHA fast half of full face protocol. You got four exercises. The first exercise is bending over. Now what you want to do when you bend over is you stand up straight, you bend all the way down, you stop, you take two breaths. Through your mouth and through your nose is fine. And then you come back up again and you take two breaths. Now there's gonna be a little guy on the screen that you're gonna be able to see. I recommend you follow his speed. So don't go going too fast, don't go going too slow. Just all the way down, two breaths, pause, and then back up again, nice and simple. Yep. Uh, so you do that for 50 seconds. The next exercise is jogging on the spot for 30 seconds. I'll get you to jog on the spot, basically running on the spot, nice and simple, yep. <clears throat> for 30 seconds. You then have head side to side. All the way, one way, two breaths. And then back the other way, and two breaths. And literally follow the man on the, on the screen. Uh, you then have head up and down for 30 seconds, so all the way up, two breaths. And then all the way down, two breaths. Nice and simple, all right? Uh, I'm gonna run you through the exercises we go through, so nice and, uh, nice and simple. Uh, the main responsibility for yourself, obviously stay where you are, don't go walking away too far, because obviously you'll pull the port account off the table. Don't go touching the mask, don't go adjusting it or doing anything that's, that's a bit sus. Just leave the mask on, and just, just as you would in the workplace. So, so nice and simple. Uh, I'm happy with that. Probe location is suitable. We have the probe installed, and the probe is between the, uh, between the, the uh, mouth and the nose, so it's in the perfect location, so I'm happy with the probe location. Um, James, you've got to have the mask on for five minutes before we test. Yep. We've gone through this protocol. We still have a fair bit to go, but by the time we start the test, you're going to have, have it on for well and truly five minutes. Uh, so I'm happy with that. So not, a, not an issue with the five minutes at all. We've done that. I'll get to confirm it is still comfortable. Yep. Excellent. I'm happy with that. Um, other PPE, Don, what are you usually wearing when you're wearing the respirator? Glasses. Excellent. You're not wearing a hard hat at all? No. Cool. No worries at all. So just literally safety glasses and the respirator. I'm happy with that. Sometimes you may be wearing coveralls, but that's not going to affect the seal at all. So I'm going to test you as is. Yeah. Um, so it's always really important we test with other PPE we may be wearing when we're, when we're wearing the respirator in the workplace. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. That's really, really good. Other PPE, Don, tick that. Uh, now, James, I'll get you to do a user seal check. But before I get you to do the user seal check, if you just want to move your head side to side and then back the other way and then up and down, and down. Now you take a couple of deep breaths. And now just get you to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. So we just sort of move the mask around a little bit. Now you need to do your seal check. And you've been training how to do this. I'll get you to do your seal check. Excellent. Did you feel any air getting through the rest better? So it's sealing really well. So by doing that seal check before you don the respirator, you can pretty much, you can be assured that the respirator is sealing in the workplace. Yeah. If for example, the respirator was damaged or faulty in any way, shape or form, you'd feel air getting through the respirator. So um, for, for my side of things, I can hear it suck to your face. I can hear it with the machine. So I'm really happy with the way that you've done that seal check. Good job. Um, now get it confirmed just before we get started. Is it still comfortable? Yeah. Excellent. Um, was there any questions you had at all? Uh, no, no questions. Excellent. And just a reminder, don't go touching the mask when you're doing any, any of the fit tests. Just leave it as is and we'll, we'll start the test. Okay. Gentlemen, I'll get you to stand up, please. So James, I'm just going to make sure that we're set up in the system. So James Norman 1, I'll put your name in there, your ID and mobile phone number. We've got the mask selected, so it's a Sunstrom SR100. It's in a medium large. I'm going to go ahead and hit a sign. Okay, then a couple of quick checks before we start. Alcohol is in. Hose are connected up to the, to the um, sample port here, or the adapter here. You're standing up for the test, you've got the PPE on. We've gone through our checklist. Uh, in three, two, one, two breaths. 
and then all the way down to two breaths. And just pause. And back up again. And all the way down and pause. Now I'm just going to run you through what's happening. Basically we're sampling air on the outside of the mask chains and the air on the inside of the mask. So at the moment there's 6,849 particles on the outside and then on the inside of the respirator you have zero particles getting in. So at the moment the respirator is actually sealing really well in your face mate and you're doing really well with those exercises. Keep on going all the way down, two breaths and pause and back up again. That's it. Cool. I know you need to jog in place. Nice and slow, nice and steady, doing really well mate. So you still have the 6,849 particles on the outside of the mask. Inside of the mask, you still have zero particles. Um, so it's sealing extremely well. Now your first fit factor is over 30,000. So the pass level for that mask is 100. So at the moment you're, what's that? 307 times the pass level. So it's sealing really well on your face. Keep on going, mate, that's good. And then in five seconds, we'll go the head side to side. Three, two, one. All the way one way, two breaths and pause. And back the other way and pause. Still zero particles in with your mask, James. Really good job, mate. It's sitting really well on your face, mate. That's great to see. Second score is 23,000, so 230 times the parcel. That's really good. Now head up and down, all the way up, two breaths. And then all the way down, two breaths. And up again, two breaths. And all the way down, two breaths. And up again, two breaths. All the way down again, two breaths. And just keep on going there for the last eight seconds. We're purging now, so we're sampling air on the outside of the mask. Still consistent, there's 6,800 particles. If you're a member for testing for non N95, you want it to be between 2,000 and 8,000 particles. James, you've passed overall with a score of 40,652. If you want to take a seat, mate, that's really good. Now, I'm just going to start off with a couple of basic hygiene procedures. First thing I'm going to do is basically get that mask disconnected. Yep, I'm actually going to remove this whole probe first. I'll take off that probe there. I'm going to place it on the desk. Uh, the hose is going to clean the hose out. I'm going to disconnect that there. I'm going to grab my compressed there. And if you want to do us a quick favour, James, you just want to hold that hose for a second there, mate. And what I'll do... So just because you have a little bit of condensation uh, inside the hose, I like to clean that out. So we're just going to blow that out first. That gets rid of, gets rid of the condensation. I'm going to re-plug that back in there. I'm going to plug my zero check back into here. I'll get to hold that one again, please, mate. I'll give the outside of my hose a good wipe down with an antibacterial wipe. Starting from the bottom and working my way back up again, that's really good. Cool. That's all done there, machine's all done there, so I'm gonna turn that machine off. I'll get my alcohol cartridge out. My cap back in. The adapter, I'm gonna give that a clean as well. I usually like to get this a bit of a pre-clean and then another clean later on before I use it again. Put that to the side for now. Uh, James, if you want to go ahead and take that mask off, that'd be really good. <clears throat> okay, I'll grab that mask off here. So first things first, I'm going to make sure that I put the, the exhalation valve cap back on. It's always really important that you don't go walking off without that because you're going to be using that again in the workplace. I'm going to get that clip back on there. I'm just going to get that respirator rolled up. I'll give you that on there. Yep. And before you go ahead and throw that in your box, if you want to give that a really good wipe down on the inside and outside, that'd be great. Just with another antibacterial wipe. Okay, so James, you've done the test. Uh, I'll get you confirmed, was the mask still comfortable when you took it off? Yep. Yep, the mask was comfortable throughout the test as well? Yeah, it felt good. That's really good. Was there any questions you wanted to ask as well, now that you've taken the mask off? Um, no, no. No worries at all. And uh, you didn't touch the mask during the test, so I'm happy with that criteria there. Um, you followed the exercises, you didn't touch the respirator during the test, you did all the, the 
part of the process and the protocol correctly, so I'm happy with that. Uh, it was still comfortable? Yeah. Excellent. We've disinfected all the items. Now I'm just gonna go through your results with you. So basically, James, you've been tested on a Sun's Room SR100, a half ace and a medium large. You've done the OSHA half full protocol. All your, all your fit factors, all your pass levels are over 100, which is the pass level. You've scored overall 40,652, which is a rather high result. Um, I'm happy with that. You've passed, a, you've passed the fit test. It's comfortable. You've been able to put it on correctly, so I'm happy with that. Um, what I'll get you to do really simply is I shall get you to have a read of the terms of testing, and then I'll simply get you to sign a date uh, just above, above your name, that's all. So thank you so much. Excellent, I'll grab that report back off you, that's really good. Um, what I'll give you as well, just so you can prove that you've been fit tested on site, is I'll give you what's called a fit test card. So the fit test card will basically show you the expiry date of the test, the mask you've been tested on, your full name, and then the sizing and your overall fit factor. I'll give you that on there. Sweet Excellent. I'll give you a hand sanitizer as well, that'd be great. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming in for a fit test, really appreciate it.